Giannis even ends. And by the way, like, we should be done with our lives. Just give me roundabouts. Give me roundabouts. I like roundabouts. I love roundabouts. It's so much more efficient. You know, you stop and go and just give me a roundabout. Enter the roundabout, engage off the ground. Now, you can't do that in a city like New York. That's so Jersey. Whoops. What do you mean, so Jersey? It's crazy. Morning. I'm sorry you had to witness that hair. I don't know where. I don't know what's going. I'm sorry. I'll get down to the bottom of it. It was an accident. But uh, July, June 29th, another day closer to the start of the football season. The AI generated stuffs going great on on uh, generating a lot of traffic on my page on Facebook at least. Those of you I forget all the time. I, I talk like I'm talking to all my Facebook crowd. I forget about YouTube and Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Um, yeah, yeah, for those of you that don't follow me, they did see this on YouTube or somewhere else and don't follow on, on my Facebook page. Go to my Facebook page. There's a lot more action going on there. There's the videos and the graphics and the, the topics and the debating. And, uh, but the NI generated mascot stuff, it's pretty it's pretty neat. It's pretty fun. Uh, today, I'm going to do it again. I'm, I'm trying to get the recipe that I haven't gotten yet. But uh, also, I want to get some. They're just, just being stupid fun in honor of uh, today's Thursday. Remember when we used to do Throwback Thursday before everybody started getting butt hurt? Uh, it was a fun thing, man. I'm thinking of bringing back Throwback Thursday. I might do it tonight. Uh, you all just need to understand it's all in good fun, man. Uh, I'll even do my coyotes tonight. I'll do my coyotes first as the first throwback, uh, as the first uh, uh, trigger. My sorry, it's to trigger them Thursday. Trigger them Thursday. When we used to trigger them Thursday on this page, uh, uh, I'll do I'll do my coyotes first today, so everybody doesn't get butt hurt. Uh, the trigger them Thursday is coming back. Uh, no need for fans to get pissed off. It's it's all in good fun. Just something to generate traffic, get you all talking. Uh, everyone's gonna go through it. Like I said, I'm starting out with my coyotes, so y'all don't get pissed off. Um, so we're bringing back Trigger Them Thursday. Hey, we're bringing so we're bringing back Trigger Them Thursday. In fact, I think I'm gonna share an old, maybe an old. I think I ended up wussing out and I deleted all the Trigger Them Thursday graphics I made from the page. But there's still, I think, a video on it that has like. It's a video form, but it's 10 of the different, it has 10 of the different graphics I made, or a few of the different graphics I made during Trigger Them Thursday. Uh, it was fun, it was a good thing. I don't know why I wussed out and got rid of it. I, I caved into the pressure of people to like, stop being negative. It's not negative, man, it's just humor, it's humorous. Uh, it's just stuff, I mean, even the kids find it funny, so I don't know why the parents have to do, the fans have to get pissed off, but uh, it's all good. Those of you that don't follow the page, follow the page on Facebook, YouTube, go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all those other ones. Um, if you're following on Facebook, or if you're not following on Facebook, you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else. Follow me on Facebook. Go subscribe for the four ninety nine a month. Uh, I had gotten up to nineteen subscribers. I already had like four unsubscribe. I don't know why you would subscribe and then unsubscribe after the one month. It's the, the good stuff's not even there yet. The football season's about to come around. Another month, another two months, another month and a half. Scrimmages are here. Uh, you all are unsubscribing at the wrong time, man. The good stuff's not even on there yet. It's, it's coming though. Uh, so get on there already. Four nine nine a month, not a big deal. Support local. Uh, thank you guys that follow the page. So go follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, uh, and go subscribe for the four nine nine a month on Facebook. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. For, me, for those of you that follow like other com, like you know, if you follow me, you'll see my comments on other other posts sometimes. Using the South Texas Plus Court uh, page, and uh, you'll see me arguing a lot with Jordan fan voice. Man, I, I don't search that out. That stuff just passes through my timeline, man. It's, 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 it's unnerving, man. It's so un there's no there's no more annoying fan base in the world than the Jordan fan base that rewrites history. If you think Jordan's a, if you think Jordan's a goat, why are you always rewriting this history? Like if he's the goat just on his own and his own on his own accolades, I think. Why do you always rewrite his history? Why do you exaggerate the past, the physicality of the past in the nineties? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. The eighties is literally the highest scoring decade ever. For all the talk about we played defense back in the day, just because there's some cherry pick videos of, of uh, Pistons pushing somebody or clotheslining somebody, it, it wasn't like that all the time. It's, for starters. Uh, Jordan only played the Pistons four times a year. They didn't play all 82 games. 
and uh yeah, so stop it, man. If you like I said, you all really think Jordan's a gold, stop rewriting this history. He's not the gold, LeBron's a gold. No, but the NBA's never seen anything like LeBron. Twenty years, just still playing on it. He's not you can't say he's still in his he was in his prime this season, but he's still almost there. Still average what did he average? Twenty eight, eight and seven in year twenty. Jordan couldn't even average that in year in year fourteen and fifteen, Jordan was averaging 20, 19, 20 points. And his entire wizard teammates hated him. Because he was an asshole. Um but you can be an asshole if you're Jordan, and you're just competitive. But if you're if you if you're competitive when you're LeBron, you're a whiner. Michael Jordan cried to the refs more than any player I've ever seen in my life in any sport. Michael Jordan flopped. Dennis Rodman perfected flopping while playing with the Bulls. I mean, this idea that it's just flopping's new and LeBron started it. Let it go, LeBron's go. I'm sorry, I wanted to fill up three minutes of time, and <laughs> so I had to go on a rant about something. LeBron's a goat, man. Uh, even Dennis Rodman's always contradicting himself. I mean, if, if they played back then, yada yada. The other day he said if Larry Bird played in today's NBA, he wouldn't even be in the NBA. He'd be in the European leagues. That's what Dennis Rodman said. That dude is just... You ever notice, too, it's always guys that, played, that peaked in the 90s that are the ones that can't stop running their mouths about the past. You know why? Because the 90s were the weakest decade ever. They added six expansion teams to the 90s. We watered it down. There was literally no super team other than Jordan's own Bulls. And yes, that was a super team. That was absolutely a super team. Um... And even more so when you compare it to the competition he had. His biggest competition in the entire night was the Knicks. The Knicks were Patrick Ewing, and then their second best player was what John Starks. That was his biggest competition in the night. <laughs> and you want to talk about six and zero final records? And then LeBron has all these losses. The, the idea that it's somehow better to lose in round one in the finals is about the dumbest argument I've ever heard in my life, man. I put it in terms of high school football: is a team better if they lose in the first round or if they lose in the state championship game? It is so stupid, this idea Jordan fanboys created. It's, it's better to somehow lose a bunch of times before the finals than it is in the finals. Let it go. Or bronze it go. I think I filled up three minutes now. I'm getting here to work. So, all of you have a great day. Football season's almost here. Be happy.